Hello everyone, and welcome to my SD card menu. The place where you can see all of Funky G's games that he has on his Wii Virtual Console. But this is not what we're here to do today. Today we are here to begin a new journey. One that I have postponed for over 10 years. That journey involves a little bit of Chrono, a little bit of Trigger, a little bit of Chrono Trigger. So let's start this. Yup. Get ready for my blind let's play of Chrono Trigger. And this is super blind. I haven't even clicked on it. I just bought this like two days ago. Ready and willing to go for this LP right here. First time I've clicked on it. I didn't even want to see what the title screen would look like until I started the LP. And I've mesmerized already. That's not fair. It's not fair. You can't mesmerize me before I even start playing the game. That's cheating. The epic intro screen. It's already got me hooked, guys. I can't stop playing Chrono Trigger. It only took 30 seconds. But it already hooked me. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, it's made by Square. Just like every other goddamn game in the whole world. Okay, maybe not every game. But shit, every good RPG in the 90s made by Square, I swear to God. Oh, we can choose our active, our, our battle system right away, huh? Um, Let's leave it on wait, just because I know I'm not going to get the battle system right away. But if I feel like that's boring, I'll put it on active later. And we get to name our character right off the bat? Man, I do not recall starting this game before. Uh, Chrono. By the way, this is not the first time I have started this game in my life, I'll tell you that right now. But let's be quiet and watch this intro stuff, and I'll explain more stuff later. Huh. What is that? Is that fireworks or explosions? Or are those, like, balloons popping or something? I don't know. I can't tell the difference. It all sounds the same. It's all blending together. I do like the ocean sounds. Pretty good for some Super Nintendo stuff. Man, this game just looks pretty. I just don't remember how pretty this game looks. Wow. Then again, I don't think I've ever played the Super Nintendo version. Like I said, I'll get to that when I get to that, though. Chrono! Chrono! Good morning, Chrono! What is that, like, his, is that his alarm clock? It just says, good morning, Chrono, till he wakes up? Oh, no, of course not. It's his madre! Come on, sleepyhead, get up! And his kitty. Wow, this is fucking looks good already. Why does this look so good? It's a fucking Super Nintendo game. Why does it look so good? Ah, oh, Lean's Bell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. I'll try, Mom. Let's get moving now. Early Bird gets the worm. Wow, I do not recall the game's graphics being this freaking good, like for Super Nintendo. I know Super Nintendo is capable of some good stuff. I've played some Super Nintendo games, obviously. And apparently I can close the window. I am a hermit. I must close the window. I am a not a hermit. I will open the window. Can you do anything with a typewriter over here? And yes, apparently he has a typewriter. You know, there's no computers yet. Why not? But yeah. Okay, so let me get this out of the way now. I have actually started this game probably like five times in my life. And I'm when I say start, I literally mean start. I got maybe an hour into the game. So I do recall some of this beginning stuff. But the last time I started the game was probably six years ago. Seven years ago. 2006. So how many years ago is that? Six or seven? Seven years? Good lord, that's a long time ago. And that's the last time I started the game. Trust me, I did not get far. And I definitely didn't play this version. I think I was playing the PS1 version, which I hear sucks balls in comparison to this one. Finally, by the way, that inventor friend of yours. Uh, you know, oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Inventor friend? Named Luca. Luca Jin? No, don't do it. You don't know Luca Jin personally. You're not allowed to talk about her like that. Shut up, you. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. Now, I do recall Chrono as a silent protagonist, so I don't have to worry about making a main character voice for somebody who's as iconic as Chrono. That's a good That's a good thing. I'm glad that did not have to happen. So, like, because, like, games like Final Fantasy IV, and I did Cecil's voice and stuff, and I was like, I just feel weird doing that shit. Don't want to have to do that with Chrono. Anyways, so we can look around here. There's not much going on in my house. It looks very colorful, though. Whoa. Almost forgot your allowance. What? 
Oh, nice. Talk to mom and she gives you money. Got any more money for me? I want more money. 200 G's is not enough. It's not enough, mom. All right, fine. And I like how the cat follows you around. That's actually... Man. I forgot how intricately detailed the stuff is in this game is. Wow. Why? Why? Just why haven't I played this game, guys? Why? Yeah, okay. I remember this, too. The map. And I remember down in the corner, you could see what year it was. Yes, I know this game has something to do with time travel. I may have gone to the time traveling part. I may have gotten that far. I don't really recall, though. If I did, so be it. But like I said, it's been that long. It's been that long. Let's see what we got around here. Might as well explore here in the first episode. I, I plan on being an explorational kind of guy. I mean, I did it in Xenoblade. I did it in Super Mario RPG. I'm going to do it in this game. And apparently if I say I'm buying, that lady starts playing awesome piano music. Alright, well she gets a high five for that. Because that sounds more awesome than the music I was just hearing a second ago. Take your bloody time. I'd rather serve you than go to the fair anyways. Why? But I'll take you to the fair, cutie. I'll win you some prizes. You want a big stuffed animal to sleep with? No? Fine. Screw you too, pink hair. Okay, now I'm apparently wedged in. I couldn't move. That was weird. Can I like... Oh. Yeah, okay. I was wondering if I could run faster. Why am I not pressing buttons? Okay, there's a menu. You know, I'm not even going to get into the menu this episode. This is the opening episode. We can't waste our time in the menu. I shouldn't even be wasting my time exploring. Have I been to the fair? No. Is there something cool about it? You'll have to wait another thousand years for the money. Whoa. Well, I don't think I'll be alive in a thousand years, sir. Ten Gs. Uh, I have my own house to sleep at. No, thank you. Oh, that's right. I think I remember this, too. When you, If you don't click A, that dialog box is going to stay on the screen no matter how, where you move. That can be kind of annoying. It's all right. We'll get used to it. Remember the earthquake we just had? No, I wasn't playing this game yet. Hello? No? Airhead, huh? Well, never mind. Well, okay, what if I say yes? Something better happen? We've been having too many. Something's wrong. Hope the big one isn't coming. Who's the big one? This box has been in the generation... F wait, has been in the family for generations. Open it and you may have, have what's inside. It's sealed by a mysterious force, though. And it plays some Zelda-esque -ass music, too. I, I heard it already. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that again. Some Zelda-ass music, though, for sure. Okay, well, apparently that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. A box that we can't open yet. Wow. For someone who likes to explore everything, I really don't recall exploring these areas at all. Mayor's Manor. What up? Hot ladies everywhere. No, I don't know about your establishment. What is this? Mayor's Educacion Center. Think of it as a workshop for beginners. You can take the things you find here. Oh, so this is going to be like... Like the, the, the learner place in Final Fantasy where they give you free items and learn about stuff. Do I need a brief weapons and items seminar? Probably not, because I think weapons and items in the Square game are self-explanatory as all hell. Let's see what else we can learn here, though. Hey, hey, stop for a second. Let me talk to you. Use the Y button to move the message battle window up or down. The message battle? Oh, okay. I think I remember that, too. You can walk while reading messages, but go too far and you can miss them. Yeah, okay, I learned that one already. Thank you for that, anyways. Why is this guy all shiny? Places where you can save your game. Okay, so he's the save point. I got you. So those shiny little areas like that will be the save point. Good to know. That's just a replica. Oh, well, screw you, then. Uh, you can log anywhere on the world. Okay, so you can save on the world map and it save points. Simple RPG mechanics right there. Do I know about shelters? I'm going to go ahead and just add on a limb and say they're probably tents. Oh, I said yes, didn't I? Well, let's just make sure. Use shelters and save points on a world map. To yep, that's exactly what they are. They're tents. They just got different jargon in this game, but simply the same mechanics as any old JRPG. I'll teach you about skills. Skills is something I should probably learn about because, well, I don't remember them. During combat, the effect of each attack can vary. First, some of your attacks will damage more than one enemy. Example, this critter, target this critter, and your attack will hit another. Okay, so there's AOEs, basically, is what you're saying. I kind of remember the battling, how it worked. I don't remember how, like, how it worked, but I remember, like, battling being you just walk up to the enemy and fight them. It's not exactly random battle. I do remember that. 
Okay, so there's an ability that lets me attack in a line. Okay, okay. I think I understand. I get it. Okay, so if you want to hit the one in the back, you gotta get all. You have to make sure the everything's in between. I got. I get it. I'm understanding. How much more of this do I have to endure? I get it. Center of the attack zone. Okay, I see. So if anything's not in that zone, I won't hit it. Understandable. All right, I get it. I get it. I get it. AOE attacks is basically all you're trying to tell me. AOE. I get it. I've played Lunar. I know. Do I want your advice? No. Fine, what is it? You learn a number of techniques as you progress. Techniques are magic attacks which utilize your weapons. You acquire them with discipline. You lack discipline. Want to learn about damage? No, I know what damage is. Screw you. Hold down the L and R buttons to escape from battle. Exactly, that's exactly some Final Fantasy shit right there. Next, wait, numbers next to the sword and shield icons indicate attack and defense power. The higher the number, the greater the power. Yeah, okay. I, I know what stats are. Thank you for that. Thank you for your stats. I guess this is this is an old RPG, so they gotta lay out every little thing just in case you don't understand how the mechanics of an RPG work already. Let's go to the market, shall we? Apparently, all that is in here is a little getting sheep on the counter that says go to the stall in Lean Square. Oh, fuck you! I don't want to go to Lean Square, bitch. Residence. Who lives in this residence? I wonder. Somebody with bread. What up, bread winner? That brat Luca says she's made the discovery of a lifetime. Why is she a brat? Screw you too. I'm so happy I could scream. Then do it. Who's stopping you? What's stopping you from ma making that scream a reality? You tell me. I guess nothing. So I'm take I, I take it we gotta go to the carnival. I mean, everybody was telling me to go there, but I'm gonna look around first. Oh, look, Luca's house is way the f over here on an island. Maybe she's here, or maybe she's at the carnival. I think she's at the carnival, if I remember correctly. But, I could be wrong. Maybe she's home, and then she meets us at the carnival. I don't know. But Luca, they said she's an inventor. Her house definitely looks like the house of an inventor. Covered in books and machinery. Sh books and machinery everywhere, like no joke. I'm just mashing A, hoping that something will happen. Either I'll find something, or find something... Or, what do you call it? Yeah activate an interaction with something around here. Oh, look, there's actually somebody here. This must be, like, Luca's mom or something. Oh, hi, Chrono. Luca's off at Lean Square with her father, Tabin, unveiling her new invention. Okay. Well, then, we'll have to go check them out over at Lean Square, won't we? Let's see what else we got up in here. Well, the kitchen's in the back, eh? Well, Man, I just, do I just don't recall this being much detail in this game. I remember there being detail, yes, but this much detail? This is way more detail than Final Fantasy VI by far. Like, look at this map. This world map is amazing. It's freaking amazing. Should I be going to the forest? Something tells me I probably shouldn't go to the forest. I want to go to that castle up there, but I... I probably shouldn't go to the forest by myself. It's dangerous to go alone. Don't you know these things? What else we got down here? We got the Desert of Illusion. I have no idea if that's what this is called. I made that up completely. Wow, I don't remember being able to just straight up walk around the map like this. Wow. How have I not done this? How do I not remember doing this? There's what, a whole other town over here or something? No, I'm good. Come again soon. Thank you, come again. I'm an explorer. I was thinking about I should probably just go to the carnival, but I want to know what some of these things are. To be quite honest, I just want to know. I don't recall this town at all. Steel Saber. I'm too poor to buy any of this stuff. I could buy some tonics. Mm, you can never be... You can never be without too many tonics. What does that do? Oh, it's probably like a like an antidote. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll just buy the five tonics for now. I don't even know what, when or if I'll need them at all, so I'm not. I don't want to waste my money now. Hmm. Who do we got in here? Some monsters coexist with humans, like that piano player. What? The piano player is a monster? Is what you're saying? Best jerky. I want some jerky. What the fuck? Ninety nine hundred G's. You crazy? I'd buy it if I could, though. 
400 years ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to save the great forest that once flourished to the north. How sad. It is. What's up, drunkard? How's it going? What fools! You fools! Why would you go to the festival? I'm the piano man. Play a sad one, Joe. Something upbeat, please. You know what? I'm feeling upbeat. Let's do this. What you got for me? Uh. Uh. Listen to that shit. Got me headbanging over here. Can we change it to the sad one just to see what it sounds like? We can. What do we got? How sad is it? Well, I have no idea if this is true or not. But I have a feeling that these songs might be from a different Square game. I could be wrong, but you never know. So let's check out one of these other areas. Is there any more areas we can look at? Got another residence. What is this big blue area? We can't go into it. We can go to the docks. Man, this this world map is just pretty. It really is. Let's go to the residence. What's up, dog? I want to go to the festival too. So do I. You don't see me complaining. Then again, I get to go. Went to the thousand anniversary in truce. We're keeping an eye on things here. So this is like a whole other town, eh? Kind of cool that you can walk all the way to another town on the map. There's a boat here. Oh, this must be like the boathouse. Wait, what did he say? Nothing like a ferry ride? Yeah, he did. I take the ferry every chance I get. Me too. Me too. One-way ticket is... No? I don't know where... <laughs> you could take the boat somewhere already? Wow, you, why, why can you do so much before you even start the game? Like, seriously, I didn't know you could do all this. person I hate the most? My dad, of course. Did I ask you that? Did I ask you who do you hate the most? Is that what came out of my mouth? Dad loves money more than he loves me. <laughs> well, the, your dad just sucks, then. Ha, huh, I run this town, and I'm so rich, I don't know what to do with it all. Give you 10G if you act like a chicken. Fuck you, fucker. Tell me to act like a chicken. You go fuck yourself, old faggot. Hmm. If he's rich, maybe he's got something we can steal around here. He, oh, he has some of these mystical treasure chests that I probably can't open. Yep. It's alright, we'll figure that shit out later. It's probably like an end game thing, watch. <laughs> Everyone says daddy's greedy. He, you're lying, right? Well, you go ask him yourself. He's the one over there bragging about being rich and having all the money and running this place. You tell me who's greedy. Huh? Well, Jesus, guys, I didn't expect to explore so much in the first episode. I was all planning on, like, going to the carnival and stuff. So I could, like, explain what I can remember about the carnival. But here I am exploring the whole damn map. Let's get let's get our ass back over there so we can just at least go to the carnival and see if there's like one more scene we can trigger before we trigger. I said trigger. Ha 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 ha. All right, lean square. Here we go. Oh yeah, carnival time, bitches. Oh, okay, I remember this part. These these guys. This is actually a race going on. I remember that a ra a race that you can bet on. Let's talk to the old man. Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun. Good luck. Anyways, well, I think I've explored enough for one episode, haven't? Don't you guys think so? I think so. So, I know I didn't get a whole lot done in this first episode, but I figured if I'm going to be thorough on this blind playthrough, I should talk to everyone and try to find any small treasures or, you know, little side things. These old games have always have little side things that you wouldn't think to do. So, I figured I'd explore my ass off to start the game off, try to talk to everyone, try to find hidden treasures and all that good stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Chrono Trigger, and this is kind of how it's going to go in terms of me exploring as thoroughly as I can. I don't want to miss anything if I can help it. If I miss anything that's really good, you guys can chime on in if you've played this game before. If you haven't played this game before, well, strap in, because all I've ever heard is good things about this game. So, see you guys next time, where we will enjoy the Carnival of the millennium ness 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 see you guys then peace